That's right. Uh, and in fact, uh, we also have our reporters joining us from the ground, Mohit Bhatt, Akanksha and Arunil joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Pranesh, like you mentioned, relentlessly Times Now has been exposing the role of PFI in several cases that have come to light. I'll go across to Mohit Bhatt. Uh, Mohit, uh, you were getting us the details of not just the communal tensions in Rajasthan, but also in the national capital, the anti-CAA protests, the Delhi riots. Uh, this is where the PFI's role has been under scrutiny. But Pratibha, during the time uh, in uh, UP when the anti-CA protest took place, I was there at Lucknow and I had worked with the senior officials of the UP police and they said that they will be pushing for ban on PFI because they say that they have nailed the role of PFI during the riots. We also had worked with Dinesh Sharma who was then the Deputy Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh and he also came out and said that they will be pushing for ban on PFI. So from very, uh, several states there was a demand to have a ban on PFI and the questions were being raised why the central government is delaying the ban on a PFI, but what the sources within the central government have told us is that they wanted to make it a watertight case and that is why we saw that how 106 people were arrested during uh, the Operation Octopus first leg on 22nd of September and then on Tuesday itself. Yesterday we saw that how massive raid took place uh, in various parts of the country. Various uh, uh, people who are linked to PFI or the affiliate organizations including All India Imam Councils, they were all being arrested. The chief of All India Imam Council from Maharashtra was being arrested and there are allegations that they have terror links and also uh, cases of money laundering are also being investigated and that is why Enforcement Directorate has come into picture. Now, during the time of the anti-CA rights in Delhi, the low role of PFI was being laid. But PFI again and again came out and said that uh, it is because the Muslims are being targeted in the country, they are, their organization is being targeted, but that was not the case. And that is why the central government, during the uh, Operation Octopus, wanted to make a watertight case wanted to uh, get through all the details of the illegal activities the PFI and their affiliated organizations are into and that is why the ban has come out now. So uh, we have to wait and watch how exactly the PFI and their leadership will react to this but it's a massive step that has been taken by the government of India because there were allegations and the allegations have now been substantiated that they were indulging in unlawful activities. They have been charged under UAPA and remember Pratibha various RSS and BJP workers were attacked specifically in the care uh, state of Karnataka and Kerala and the real role of PFI activists were being questioned. Many of the PFI activists were being arrested, be it uh, the case of Praveen or uh, Sanjeev. Now the RSS and the BJP work respectively. So yes, there have been various allegations coming in from a long time and it is being said by the security expert that this ban on PFI was long due. Not just the PFI, ca Campus Front of India, the student wing of uh, Popular Front of India and All India Imam uh, Council, they all have been banned by the central government. Now, there are very serious allegations, including uh, the links with the terror organizations, including uh, the money laundering aspect of it, and also instigating rights in the country, be it in the state of Rajasthan during the Ram Nami procession, or during the time of CA protests, we saw that how there was the involvement of Popular Front of India to instigate the rights, in specifically in that uh, case of North East Delhi, where many people lost their life, and the, system, uh, the situation really went out of the control and there were allegations when Donald Trump is in India, the PFI wanted to create an image of India which is very communally sensitive and hence uh, these rights were instigated on the behest of Popular Front okay. of India and their leaders. We know for a fact that Stay how...